Hey friends, you're coming for a ride along today on our way to pick up our Azure Standard Order. It is a huge order. It is 800 pounds. I believe that they said it is 37 cases, something like that. So it requires two cars to do a pickup today on this mission. I'm in my car and Brian is in his CRV. If you don't know what Azure Standard is, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how it works and why I think you need Azure Standard. If you love Azure Standard Halls as much as I do, stay tuned because this is a big one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything I got and why I got it and what I plan to do with it. Some of it are staples that we use on a regular basis and some things were items that I just thought we would like to try out and then next time I will buy bigger quantities. But come along with us. I would love to have you guys on this journey with us too. just before the rain started to really come down. Here is all 800 pounds of our groceries in its beautiful glory. Take a look. has been an outfit change. We have tried filming this numerous times and we're hoping that this time is a charm. Fingers crossed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over everything that I bought, the reason why I bought it, and what it planned to do with it. Um, we are going to start with lemons. We got 10 pounds of lemons. I did have one lemon that had started to go soft and had some moldy spots on it. I contacted Azure and their customer service was amazing. What I plan to do with the lemons is obviously use it in cooking in lemon water every single day. And I also am going to juice some of these lemons and freeze them. You can, you, you can do that so that it, you have lemon juice ready to go and it is preserved so these lemons don't go back so fast. Next, I have 20 pounds of yams. When I opened up the box the first time, I did notice that some of the yams had soft spots. I contacted Azure and they gave me a credit for a third of the bag. Their customer service is fantastic. And I just want to show you how big some of these are. They are huge. Do you see them compared to my face? They're crazy. So what I plan on doing is obviously for the ones that are about this size, these will just be for eating. Some of these will be chopped up and put into recipes. And some of these I plan to chop up into smaller pieces and freeze for future cooking use. So that was 20 pounds of sweet potatoes. Next I have 20 pounds of juicing apples. 
and these some of these have some spots on them you can see some of them have spots on them some of them are are speckled and some of them are just plain tiny this one's so cute it has it has a tiny little apple that started to grow next to it that was picked off with it um, so the plan for these is to we are going to peel all of these and we are going to make applesauce with this and we will be canning applesauce. We will bring you along for the canning journey of applesauce. The produce box. Um, I can't say that I'm disappointed in the produce box, but I will say that I probably won't get this produce box again, probably until summer when there's a little bit more variety of produce right now. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot growing, so the options of what to put in the box are kind of limited, and I feel like it just gave me a lot of duplicates of things that I already purchased bulk quantities of and didn't necessarily need more of. That being said, there was some stuff in here that we don't typically buy, so it'll be interesting to try to find recipes and ways to use them. Let me show you. We got a coconut. We got a Thai coconut. We got satsumas. I absolutely love satsuma oranges. We got apples. more sweet potatoes, garlic, a red pepper, bell pepper, got some more lemons. There was a lime in here. I'm not sure where the lime went, so somebody may have used the lime already, but we have more lemons. We got a red onion. I did have two big oranges, um, but one of those got used. And we have a turnip. And this was this was new to me. This is celery root. I've never used celery root before, but I think I'm going to use the celery root when I make my vegetable stock coming up this week. Um, you'll see I have a 25 pound bag of carrots. So I'm going to be making some vegetable stock. I'm gonna put this in in place of celery and see how I like it. So that'll be a good use for something that we've never used before. All right, next. This is five pounds of nutritional yeast. Um, nutritional yeast has a cheesy flavor to it, so it is used a lot in vegan and plant-based cooking. You can use it on popcorn. I make a vegan cheese sauce. I'll probably do a recipe and you'll see that um, I use this in a lot of my cooking. So this is five pounds. We go through a lot of it, so I got a pretty big quantity. Um, that's another thing I wanted to say is I got 800 pounds of food. This is 800 pounds of food that's a lot of food so you're probably wondering why in the world I got 800 pounds of food and do you need to buy this big a quantity you don't need to buy this big a quantity Azure sells bags that are one pound they sell bags that are 50 pounds so you can go anywhere in between we are fortunate enough that we have the space that we can buy in bulk so that's going to save me in multiple ways. It's going to save me because I'm buying in bulk and I get a bulk discount. It's going to save me because buying right now, buying larger quantities and stocking up as we see inflation in the grocery store, the price is going up in the grocery store. I have already purchased mine, so I've locked in those lower prices. I do plan on preserving a lot of this between the freezer, between canning and dehydrating. So um, you'll see as I go along, we'll do some more videos showing how I plan to preserve all this so that it doesn't all go bad. Next is coconut sugar. I am trying to replace regular granulated sugar 
in our diets and coconut sugar has more vitamins, minerals, and nutrients than granulated sugar and it has a lower glycemic index so it's easier for your body to digest. Next we have five pounds of garlic. Whatever we don't use out of this bag, if there's anything left, I do plan on taking some of the garlic, breaking it apart, and planting the garlic bulbs into my garden. These started to fall over, but I got three boxes of the Jovial gluten-free brown rice um, uh, classic lasagna noodles. I, English, I can't English today, apparently. So these are organic brown rice. We got three boxes to try these. We recently found out that my daughter Callista might be celiac and I just ironically happened to order these. So this will be a good test for us to find out if she does end up being celiac, if this is something that she likes and we can start incorporating into our diet. I've never tried these before, so I only got three boxes. These are hemp hearts. This is a five pound bag of hemp hearts. I like cooking with hemp hearts, um, but one of the biggest reasons why I use hemp hearts is in our smoothies, but also I am terrible, absolutely terrible, about remembering to soak cashews or almonds the night before in cooking recipes to make our own milks. So if I need a milk, you can just take the hemp hearts, put it into your blender with some water, blend it up and you have an instant dairy-free milk. We are dairy-free in our house, so this is this is a great dairy-free substitute and it doesn't leave a taste when you cook with it like you would have with almonds or cashews where they leave that kind of nutty taste. So if you're making something like mashed potatoes, you may not want the flavor of an almond. This comes in handy. I am very excited to try these. I don't know if you are obsessed with Azure Haul videos like I am. If you are obsessed with Azure Haul videos, leave a comment down below and tell me how obsessed you are with Azure Haul videos. I think I've seen every video on YouTube at this point. Um, these are the dried cranberries and instead of like a craisin where they use a sugar to sweeten it, these are apple juice infused. So it's on lower glycemic index. It, rather than the craisins and you um, you can use these in salads, you can use these in cooking. So we got five pounds of those. I got 10 pounds of red onions. This is something we've never tried before. If you've used soy curls before, let me know in the comments how your fa what your favorite recipe is to use soy curls. This is something we're going to try. We're going to be doing tacos with the soy curls. So we only got one bag to see how we like it, but these are dehydrated soy curls. So it is eight ounces when dried, when rehydrated, it's approximately 2.25 pounds. So we, we will see how we like that. This is two pounds of active dry yeast. Callista wants to start learning how to bake breads and especially if she does find out that she is celiac, we will be baking a lot of our own breads because I refuse to pay $8 a loaf of bread. So we got, we got uh, yeast. This um, active dry yeast and nutritional yeast are very different. So this is used for bread. This is used for um, just in cooking in general to give it a, a cheesy kind of nutty flavor. So they're very different in case you were confused and have never seen nutritional yeast before. This is one pound of ground Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon has anti-inflammatory properties and it is said to be the true cinnamon. The other cinnamon isn't, apparently it isn't a true cinnamon. So um, we're going to try the Ceylon cinnamon. This is something we've never tried before. But because it is anti-inflammatory, another issue that my daughter has been having is inflammation in her hips. She's a competitive horseback rider. I got one pound of pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are great because they have magnesium in them. And most people are deficient in magnesium. And 
if you don't know the benefits of magnesium, magnesium has so many benefits. It is great for if you have headaches, it's great for if you have asthma, magnesium is a natural dilator. So it helps to open up the airways. It is great for mood stabilization for people who have anxiety. Magnesium is great for helping to balance out your mood. We got this is 10 pounds of organic unrefined whole red wheat. Um, if you buy any wheat, beans, or oats and rice, you want to buy organic. One of the things I learned recently is that fields where they use a dry crop, what they do is they spray that field with Roundup in order to kill that field off so that all of that field dies off at the same time and everything dries out and they can harvest it at the same time. So if you don't want to eat Roundup in your food, organic cannot do that. They cannot spray any glyphosates or um, Roundup, glyphosates or Roundup. They cannot spray the field with uh, Roundup. So um, this is 10 pounds of organic uh, bread flour. So this is for us to try to uh, make our own bread. We got a case of rice cakes. We use rice cakes as a quick on the go breakfast. You can smear some peanut butter on there, chop up some fruit, put it on top, put some cinnamon on top, and you have an instant on the go breakfast as you're on your way out the door. And it's pretty healthy. There's these are, We got the salt free. Next, we got two cases of coconut cream. You can take the coconut cream and whip it in your mixer with a little bit of powdered sugar and it makes a whipped cream. Add some vanilla to it. It makes a great whipped cream. You can use it in a ton of recipes as well. And if, if a recipe calls for regular cream, you can substitute coconut cream. And come down here. So next, this is something that we are trying out. This is the powdered dishwash, the dishwashing powder. Um, this is, how many ounces is this one? This is eight pounds of dishwashing powder. So if we decide that we like this, I will upgrade to the five gallon bucket, but I wanted to try this out for a period of time and test it and see how we liked it before I invested in a large amount. Next, we got the five gallon um, dish soap. This is five gallons of the Azure Clean dish soap. So all of the Azure Clean products contain no phosphates, no dyes, no SLS, no SLES, no ammonia, no B-U-T-Y-L, no chlorine, and there is no animal testing. It's also earth friendly. So I want to try to switch over a lot of our products into more toxin free uh, cleaning products so we got the we got the dish soap and then we also got a laundry soap the laundry soap is also um the comments i've never tried the laundry soap before but i went ahead and dove into the five gallon because so many people raved about it they said it's left their clothes cleaner than any laundry detergent that they've used before Oh, there goes the corn. It um, helps to strip out the the sud, the soap that was left behind by your other laundry detergents. If you've seen any of the TikTok and YouTube videos that have gone viral where people strip their clothes in the bathtub, this is um, this is supposed to be cleaner. I got three of these pumps. These go into the five gallon buckets. The next purchase I plan to do is a. Um, five gallon bucket of the hand soap so I will have I have two for now and then I have one for the hand soap this is an e-cloth this is the flux edge floor and wall duster head so this is basically like a Swiffer but you can use it on your wall and you can walk you can take this and throw it into the washing machine when you're done so it's reusable this is the eight cloth home cleaning set. 
So you just use water and it kills over 99% of bacteria. If you are familiar with the multi-level marketing company Norwex, this is very, very similar, but this is about a third of the price of Norwex. So inside it has one large waffle weave window cloth, two glass polishing cloths, one stainless steel cloth, one kitchen cloth, one bathroom cloth, one range and stovetop cloth, and one dusting cloth. I will do a review on this. I'll, I'll film a review for this and show me using them and tell you what I think. These, this is something I've never used before, but like I said, we're trying to switch over to more non-toxic cleaning products. And this only requires water, so I'm also hoping that that's going to help to save on our grocery bill because we don't need to buy cleaning products. Along with the e-cloth stuff, I did get the e-cloth deep clean mop. So this mop head is removable. You can, it just uses water and it helps to clean your floor um, just using water. There's no chemicals needed. And you can also take this mop head off and the uh, floor duster goes with this. So you don't need to buy an extra handle. Next is the Azure Clean Royal, Thro Royal Throne Toilet Bowl Cleaner. This one is in Pine Scent. So it is power without poison. It's the um, same um, clean ingredients as um, the, uh, the other Azure brand. This was really interesting to me. So this is sponges, kitchen sponges for the dishes, but they are made with walnuts. So there's 24 walnut scrubber brushes in here and these can be composted in your garden. So there, there is no plastic that you're throwing into your garden. These are completely compostable to help us get a little bit more zero waste. Nobody's perfect, right? Next we have 50 pounds of rolled oats. These are organic rolled oats and these do not have any glyphosates in them as well because they are organic. We use a lot of oats and oats are naturally gluten-free as well. We use oats for making oatmeal, we use oats for making cookies, we use oats for granola, and we also use oats for baking. You can grind up oats very easily in your blender and make oat flour. You can also grind up oats in, with your blender and some water and make oat milk, which is a really creamy milk. You just strain it through a nut bag and you have another dairy-free option that doesn't require you to soak almonds or cashews overnight. It's very creamy and it doesn't have a distinctive taste like an almond does. So since we've already established that I suck at remembering to soak the cashews and almonds overnight, I like keeping stuff like this on hand. Next, we have a 25 pound bag of quinoa. We use a lot of quinoa. Quinoa is a whole protein. So it is used a lot um, in our house. We use it as a rice substitute. We use it as a meat substitute. If I make tacos, um, I'll put taco seasoning on this and we use it in our, in our tacos as a meat substitute. Next, we have 25 pounds of Great Northern Beans. I plan to can a lot of these up because like I said, I don't remember to soak stuff overnight. So canning these I, will be a great grab and go option, but you don't have as many preservatives when it's canned from home and you also save substantially more by buying it dried in a 25 pound bag than if I were to buy it by the can. Light red kidney beans, 25 pounds. Same thing, plan on canning these up. I do make a chili using the quinoa, great northern beans, and kidney beans. So I'll probably make up a few batches of chili and set them into the freezer to do some freezer cooking. That way we have meals ready to go. Stick them into a Ziploc bag and you have crock pot meals ready for a couple of days if you, if you batch cook. Next we have garbanzo beans. So funny story about the garbanzo beans is with Azure you leave you can leave your cart open for the entire month. So they have a selected day that you have to close your order before they bring your order 
before they close out your order, package up your order, put it on a truck and bring it to you. So I had left the order open for the month and did not remember that I had already added garbanzo beans. So I added a second bag of garbanzo beans, not remembering that I already had the first bag. So now I have 50 pounds of garbanzo beans, which is fine. We eat a lot of hummus. We use a lot of garbanzo beans, so they will get used. And garbanzo beans, well, any dry bean, is good for 25 years if stored properly. So we're good for garbanzo beans for quite a while. Same thing with the black beans. I did the same thing. I added, I was adding things as I realized that we were low in stock or as I was using them, realizing, oh, this is something that we use frequently. So this is something that I should buy large quantities of and stock up on. So same thing with the black beans. I added them to the cart at the beginning of the month, come the middle of the month, forgot that I had already added them and added a second bag. So now we have 50 pounds of black beans. We eat a lot of Mexican, we'll go through it. But even if we don't go through it in the next six months, it'll probably be about a year's supply for us, but they are good for 25 years if stored properly. Which brings me to these buckets. That's what these buckets are for. So I have these five gallon buckets with the gamma lids. So the gamma lids are a double seal lid. So they are airtight. So they're easy to open. They're easy to assemble. The, these lids fit five or 3.5 five to seven gallon buckets. They have a the seal, they're a double seal. So there's a seal inside here. And then a second seal right here to keep it airtight and watertight. These keep out bugs and rodents so that they're not getting into your food. What you do is you hammer, you take a mallet or you can take a hammer and a um, piece of wood and you can hammer this down onto the bucket so that it creates the seal. And then you can easily open this rather than having to pry the lid off and possibly cracking the lid and have animals and moisture get into your buckets. Next, we have a 25 pound bag of juicing carrots. The juicing carrots are not aesthetically pleasing. If you are familiar with um, the companies that sell some of the carrots, the imperfect produce, um, this is, that's what these are. They, they're considered juicing carrots because they're not aesthetically pleasing. Some of them have legs. Some of them have cracks in them. So these aren't the aesthetically pleasing carrots that they like to sell to grocery stores, but these are organic carrots. So we will chop them up and can some. We will probably freeze some. I will put some into the vegetable stock when I make the vegetable stock and we will use some of these for fresh eating because we don't care whether or not they're aesthetically pleasing or not. And we will use all 25 pounds of this. Okay, let's get up to the table here. Next, each bag is five pounds. So we have five pounds of sweet peas. I have five pounds of mixed vegetables. Underneath the, veg the mixed vegetables, I have 10 pounds of green beans. I do plan to grow the peas and the green beans in the garden. I just do not have enough garden space to grow as much as we would need for a year supply for the family. So I do like to buy frozen options as well. Here we have 30 pounds of um, corn. Here in this bag, we have 35 pounds of frozen broccoli florex. Okay, let this. Oh. There we go. 
This is the Azure Market um, Berry Wildflower Honey. This is a raw honey. I've never tried this, but this one out of all of the Azure videos that I've watched, this is the one that everybody raved about. So this is 12 pounds of honey. Yes, I know, vegan plant-based, technically, Honey isn't vegan, but I've done the research and I've decided that for myself, honey has medicinal properties and I also believe that honey, because bees are endangered species, the beekeepers do help with keeping the bee population alive. So I do support the honey industry. Next, we have a five gallon or a one liter or one gallon, I cannot talk, <laughs> a one gallon jug of raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. You can use this for caning recipes. You can use this in, um, in vegan baking instead of an egg. You can use apple cider vinegar as an egg substitute with baking soda. The chemical reaction you get gives you the same uh, reaction that you would get with an egg to help make it rise a little bit easier. I got a flat of organic fruit spread wild berry. There is no cane, there is no sugar added to this, so this is a very clean ingredient. Um, jelly. It's technically a fruit spread rather than a jelly but it has organic wild berries. So blackberries, strawberries, bilberries, raspberries, apple juice concentrate, natural fruit pectin, and azorbic acid. And this is made here in Connecticut. I didn't know that, I just now saw that. So we got a flat of what, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Yep, 12 of those. I got 32 ounces of organic blackstrap molasses, you can use this in cooking recipes. You can use this, um, mix it in with your sugar and you make a, it'll make brown sugar. So if you want, you can control how much molasses is in there. So whether or not you want a dark brown sugar or you want a light brown sugar, all it is is the difference between more or less molasses. It also has medicinal benefits to it as well. It is very, very high in iron and it's very, very high in potassium and I believe calcium as well. Yes, calcium is 226 milligrams. So we got some molasses. The next thing we got is the Sea Seasonings triple blend flakes. So there's dulse, lavier, and sea lettuce. So this, this is to help with iodine levels. If you have thyroid issues, substituting this in sea vegetables in for your salt helps to give you that salty taste, but it also helps to give you your iodine. We have 10 pounds of yellow onions here. I got three bottles of the organic bill ketchup made with agave nectar rather than sugar. So we've never tried this before, so I wanted to get three bottles to see how we like it. You can buy as little as one bottle, but I went ahead and bought three. And the organic bill Dijon mustard. We use a lot of Dijon mustard in, in the recipes, one of the cheese recipes that I do frequently calls for a Dijon mustard. Next, I got a flat of tomato paste. I don't know about you, but when I buy tomato paste in the can, I don't use the entire thing, so then I have to find another container to put it in, put it into the refrigerator. It ultimately gets forgotten about, gets pushed to the back of the refrigerator, and then a month later, I see it and say, what in the world is that? Open it, and it's grown fur and has become a science experiment. So I got the jars of tomato paste so that we can just use what we need, put the lid on it, and then put it into the refrigerator. I got the, um, what is this one, diced? Yeah, this is diced tomatoes. So with the chili recipe that I make, you can probably put in diced tomatoes and the chilies in the chili recipe. Um, you can also use this plus the tomato paste and make your own homemade, um, pasta sauces. So I bought ingredients rather than um, the pasta sauce because it gives me options and since storage space is at a, is at a premium here, um, 
especially with 800 pounds of groceries, buying ingredients gives me more options. Next, I have small cashew pieces. These are raw. I got 10 pounds of the small cashew pieces. With these, we use these a lot. I will eat them this way. We don't really care if they're whole pieces or just smaller pieces. But also, I use the cashews to make cashew cheeses. I make cashew milk. So it's going in the blender anyway to be blended up to, um, <laughs> to a pulp anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's pieces or not. And the pieces are substantially cheaper. You save a ton of money going with the pieces. So we got 10 pounds of the cashew pieces. Next, I got the Stacy's Big Organic Whole Wheat Flour Tortillas. I don't know if you've ever read the ingredients on a package of tortillas, but the ingredient list is as long as my arm with tons of preservatives. This is a very, very clean list. I don't know if you can see that list of ingredients. but it is very, very clean ingredients. So it has organic whole wheat, unbleached white flours, water, organic sunflower oil, baking powder, salt, citric acid, and malted organic malted barley flour. So these you need to keep refrigerated and the ones that you're not using, you need to put into the freezer because they do not have the preservatives in them. So they will go bad very, very fast. We've got 10 pounds of pinto beans. So I didn't buy the 25 pound bag of pinto beans because it's not something that we use as often as some of the other beans. So I got 10 pounds of pinto beans for now. Next, this is a shampoo bar. So this tiny little bar is the equivalent of a 24 ounce bottle of shampoo. So between my long hair and my daughter's long hair, I'm hoping that this will last us about two months. I bought one bar to see how we like it. We've never used this before. So I bought one bar to see how we like it. If we do like it, then um, I'm going to see how long it takes us to go through one bar and then figure out the math in how many bars we need and then we'll stock up to get more of these to last us for a while. And last, this is pure jojoba oil. You can use this on your body as a moisturizer. You can use this in your hair if you mix it in a spray bottle with some water. You can spray it into your hair as a detangler. If you have a little girl and you want to stay as chemical free as possible, but you want to detangle her, her long hair, this is a great option for that because it adds moisture. You can put it in if you have dry ends during the winter. My hair is very, very, very dry and I get tangled very, very easily. So we are going to use the jojoba oil for our hair to help condition our hair as a treatment. I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much. I hope that you had I can't speak. <laughs> um, I, I hope that this was informational for you and I hope that you got something out of this. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. And if you guys like videos like this, please subscribe and like and share this with your friends. Thanks. Bye guys. Bye.